Hi, I'm Robin with Robin 33. I'm going to show you in the beginning of this, I will show you how I found this box and what it looked like. This was actually the bottom and this box was green. And then this and this was the front and it said kitchen stuff on it. So you actually had access to it from up top. What I've done is I've taken it totally apart. I've repainted it. I've distressed it. I took the front off, cut it in half, and attached it to those sides. Now, my plan for this, this is a new product that I'm going to be putting in my Etsy shop. I can now print on this burlap. And I thought it'd be really cute to attach this sign, this piece of burlap to the front, and it says, friends and family gather here. I saw a box similar to this online that had three bottles sitting in it. Um, they wanted $50 for it. Now, I don't have near $50 invested in it. But what I'm still working on, I'm still working on how to attach this to wood without it showing through. I actually purchased some little tacks that have not arrived here yet. They're kind of decorative upholstery tacks. So I'm waiting for those to come in. So I'm going to actually use this spray mount now that I ruined my burlap. Oh, there's some more. <laughs> That stuff is good. It really adheres. So we're just going to pull that off and kind of reshape this. There we go. All right. So this is Elmer's spray mount. So we're going to be using that, like I said, until my, my tacks come in. There. That'll work. So maybe I did find what will work. Now you can reposition this, which is nice. So you can lift it up, bring it down. But I still have a little piece of this stuff sticking on here. There we go. I want to get it pretty centered in the side. Now this box was originally green and I paint it with black chalk paint, the Waverly chalk paint. And then I went ahead and I distressed it by putting the Waverly Fawn chalk paint over it and kind of took a, re a really damp um, piece of towel and pulled it out. Like just kind of distressed it even more, wiped it around, and so on. Kind of like that. See that? Now, we're not finished with this. My plan is to put, and I'm going to leave these natural. I like the color of natural. So that's going to be the feet. It also is going to be the knobs for the sides. So... I'm going to use some hot glue to attach the feet. You'll be amazed when you see the before pictures. You won't even think this is the same box. And like I said, they were charging $50 and that was marked down. I thought, you've got to be kidding me. We can do it for less than that. I think I paid less than $2 at the thrift store for the box and 20% off of that because it was Senior Citizens Day. <laughs> but the burlap will be customizable which means you can tell me what size piece you want to fit your box or your hat. These, these are burlap patches and the really they're really hot right now. Um, they're really popular. People are putting them on their pants and their hats. And I will have other pictures and other sayings to put on there. 
Okay, so that's our box. And I already marked the middle on the sides, so I'm going to glue this on the side. If this does not hold, I have um, Gorilla Glue. I can go back and redo them. I just like the simplicity of this box. And I could have left it without feet on the bottom, but I thought that would just really be cute. Okay, there we go. Now, I have these. I have not listed them in my Etsy store yet, but they will be soon. These just, I went and spray painted them, and then I also distressed the front to uh, pull the, the glass back through the letters and the little cow. Now, if I wanted to get these higher, I could by just pushing, putting a piece of wood in there. But I'm actually just going to use a little bit of boxwood. And that's all the design had in the, um, in the ad was just a little bit of boxwood. And I thought, how simple is that? And then I thought it'd be kind of cute. Let's see if we can get these a little closer together. Just by putting a little more here and in between. This is definitely farmhouse. And I, you guys know how much I love farmhouse. Farmhouse, primitive, that's my favorite way to decorate. I think I'm going to move this down and put another one in here. Or maybe we'll put a fourth one. Out of fourth piece in front. And actually, because I may put this on my kitchen table, I think I'm going to accent the back with it too. That way it looks pretty much the same on both sides. Now, if I wanted my cows to show, all I have to do is put a piece of wood in there and kind of pull them up a little higher. There we go. There's my box. Friends and family gathered here. Gather here, excuse me. But there we go. Just simple knobs. I think this spray mount is going to work really great though, compared to what we were going to use. There we go. Simple 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 farmhouse okay I've decided that I want them up a little higher so I'm actually just taking some Dollar Tree um, tumbling blocks here and I'm just adding them to the bottom of the jar there actually I could go with two more and I think that would give me the height I'm looking for. Because you won't see this with the plants in there. So I actually use three rows. Oh yeah, much better. See how that has presence now where before it didn't? All right. These are great for just about anything. So all I'm doing is just gluing it and stacking it three high.
and when I want to change it out I can remove these blocks they will come off but for now I'm getting the height that I want there we go. Now we got it where we want it. All right, let's put these back in. Boxwood is a very farmhouse. It's a great filler too. Put that one in there. There we go. And we got a little glue on the front of this. Let's detangle that. So I'm going to do one on each side. I have to reposition these a little bit. I also went and put some burlap around the tops of the bottles. could even change the flower you know this out each time for a different season too you could put flowers in there but for now I just kind of like that there we go it's all finished and don't forget I love seeing pictures of your creative ideas especially if I inspire you for something I'd love to see them all right have a great day and thank you for joining me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. The bell will notify you every time I place a new um, video online. Have a great day and happy crafting. Thank you.